Hello everyone and welcome to the Gesture Recognizer tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to learn how to deal with gesture recognizers. Um, and we're going to start by making a project called Gesture. Uh, expand this a little here. Then we go into the storyboard at first. So now gestures, what are they exactly? Well they are whenever you touch your iPhone. You know, the iPhone can register all kinds of different touches. Um, when you just push it with your finger, if you hold down your finger, if you swipe to one side or swipe to the other, um, if you pinch, and well, there's all sorts of gesture recognizers that the iPhone can respond to. And if you have an application and you need to have some way to handle these events, how would you do it? And uh, well. The simplest and easiest way is just to do it in Interface Builder, or at least to hook it up in there, because if you go into the Objects Library, scroll down to the bottom almost, you see these funny fellas here. And these are actually the different kind of um, gestures that the iPhone can respond to. You can see here the Tab Gesture Recognizer, and the tab is just a single press um, on the screen. And if you drag this onto the, uh, the view canvas here, you can see that it gets added down here. And you have some properties. Recognizes, taps, touches, is it enabled, cancelled in view, delayed. Um, so you can actually do a bit of messing around with them, um, but we won't go into those details, we're just gonna scratch through the surface here and what you need to do here is that now that you told your view that it can respond to tap gestures then you need to tell it which kind of method it should call so you control drag in here make an action called tap or single tap to make sure we don't use any reserved names so every time a user taps on the screen, it'll call this method. And it is that simple. Let's just quickly go ahead and we're just gonna make an NSLock statement, but obviously you can make whatever you want in here. And we're gonna say single tap. Okay, well, let's try and take this for a spin and see if it is really that simple. And what do you know? Whenever we press here on the screen, it will call that method. Well, that wasn't too hard, but what about the others? Is it that easy as well? And I'm happy to inform you that it is. So let's try and take this um, swipe gesture here. We go into here and you see it has some um, properties you can mess with as well. Um, do you want to swipe right, left, up and down? Uh, I mean touches and it works the same way. Control drag into the type of method you want to call. We're gonna call it swipe method. Then you implement the methods. I'm just gonna call it swipe. And that's it. Then you have added the swipe functionality to your iPhone. And I think we set it to Swipe right, yeah. So there, I hold down and I swipe right, and it calls. I can swipe right. I can press and call the single tab. Swipe again, single tab. You can see it calls the proper methods down here. So it works, and that's really all there is to it. And if you have multiple views on the screen here because they are added to the view. So let's say you have some sort of view here uh, and some sort of gaming area or, or something. Make it a dark gray color. Well, then you could add a tap just to recognize it to this one. Okay. How can you? Now, so we make the tap. There we go. 
So the tab calls the swipe method. Okay, so if we press there, it swipes. If we press there, it's single tab. We can do this. Um, oh, sorry, I got a little silent there, but apparently when, when you add it here, it stacks them on top of each other in here. Um, but you can always go over here and select the prop one. So th that was just to illustrate that you can have where tab recognizes in different views, all calling different methods. So, let's spin this again. So, when we press here, it calls a single tab. If we press in here, it calls a swipe. And if we swipe, it also calls a swipe. And so, the way to see this is that you add gesture recognizers to your views, and then you hook up the gestures oops, to whatever method you want. You can't control the rack down here, that was what I was trying to do before and got me a little puzzled. So just do it over here. You can identify which one you have selected by looking at them down here. Um, so that's all there is to it guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, sorry if this video seemed a little rough but uh, I'm, I'm in a hurry so I will. But thanks for watching, let me know what you thought of it and go visit my programming forum and ask any type of programming questions you want and I'll try to help you best I can.